Hello everybody, welcome to Way of Fishing. The river is really low. Leaves aren't that bad. Uh, I'm a little out of breath. One, because I'm out of shape from not fishing. And two, I had to haul the boat about 20 yards across the sandbank to get to the water. So, you can see the bottom right there, it's really shallow. Plan is, I don't have anybody to help me, so I'm gonna paddle up river, and then I'm going to fish back. I might fish past the truck, and then fish back up to the truck. This new boat, very easy to paddle against this current. Other boats I've had have been difficult. All right, you guys, I stopped for a second, and I took my hoodie off, wearing that in-between time in the fall, where it was 38 degrees this morning, but it's like 64 now. So with paddling, I was actually starting to sweat. That's a really bad thing. So I have to, I'm kind of, it's a little cool, but not cool enough for the hoodie, the full hoodie. So I'm just gonna manage my body temperature, but I wanna talk about my bait. I'm about to throw a Ned head, okay? This is a Nico Zaza Leech in limited edition magma color. This thing, is phenomenal. This has now become my main go-to bait on a Ned hook, okay? It's bigger than the traditional Ned. I dare say that this plastic, this Nico material is indestructible. But let me see if I can show y'all. See, it's kind of flat. It's got an oval shape to it, right? It's literally a leech. It's flat there, it's got an edge, and it's flat. What I noticed the first time I fished this is when this hits the bottom, even a little bit of current, that tail just kind of does this. And I watch fish just sit and it, it bait. I mean, it's, it's almost like secondary motion underwater because this wants to float. But that little bit of tail just quivers, like it will not stay still. And man, psh, I said, it's a wrap. That's my, my Ned bait from now on, 100%. And you just uh, thread it through, just like you would your regular Nico, but you're gonna come through the flat side is what I've been doing. So we'll warn you, and I'll link this, but Nico material is stronger than other similar material on the market. So you got a dull hook or a screw lock or something, it's not gonna work. I don't know if y'all can see that. See it sitting head down, but you see that little bit of motion on the back end. And there's hardly any current right there, but there's just a little bit of motion. I do not have words for how awesome this bait fish is on a Ned. We're going into winter. The Ned is one of my top wintertime baits now uh, for invasive Alabama bass on Lake Gaston, uh, largemouth on deeper structure gravel bars. Uh, it's just, the Ned has become my go-to cold water finesse bait. We're gonna get up the river. Who am I kidding? I'm a fish going up. You know what I'm gonna do. Y'all know what's about to happen. Hey, look at all this, man. I'm not about to turn this up. Why am I throwing a top water if I haven't seen any fish? Because ah, I want to get home. I'm just trying to cover water. That ain't going to get it like that. All right, I had something hit a top water. Hit a top water twice right over here. Top water was way too big for it. But that's a good sign. Oh! Oh, he's little. Hell, it's a fish. We saw a fish. And I caught a fish. <laughs> and he didn't even make a make a splash. It just slurped a bait. Well, what is that? That is a small, very cold spotted bass. No skunk. No skunk. gotta think that if I get one on top water that I could get one on these other baits right I mean why not that's three top water strikes small fish but
man when you put the wind on top of this current it gets very hard to deal with i got multiple currents pushing on this boat right now and the only thing that'll fix that would be some sort of anchor a pin a drag line i got the wind pushing me the wind is swirling and i got this current coming this way it's a uh, taxing my brain all right change my baits change my battery and my gopro water is still cold i'm gonna leave all three rods in front of me i took the chase baits drunken mullet the prop bait off i put on a popper just thinking i'm getting smaller fish trying to go for more fish i didn't go with a prop bait because i have to fish this fast and so what happened like now if i can just wind it in i don't get any line twist Oh, look at that. <laughs> Second cast with the new top water and it worked <laughs> as planned. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, they are definitely near wood. I can say that with certainty. Gotcha. I knew you were in there. Oh, biggest fish of the day right there, baby. Looks like the same species though. No, he's about the same size as everything else. But that's three fish on top water on a cold day. And this is right about the time, if y'all are watching, where half the country's getting snow and it's supposed to get like super cold. It was 30 something degrees last night. So, I don't know what temperature this water is, but I don't want to get in it. It's, it's that temperature. <laughs> it's, I don't want it to touch me temperature. How about that? That makes sense? Son. That's a big deer. That's a big deer. Sheesh. At least a six point, huh? Dang. I didn't even know I had a fish on there. I'm looking for the bait to flip on the surface. Another little spotted bass. Hey, little buddy. Man, why does it look like rain? It looks like rain really bad. <laughs> Never even heard him hit the bait. I just, <laughs> little spotted bass. I just went to pop it and felt him on there. <laughs> What's up, little fella? Go on about your business. Thank you. What? <laughs> that little runt. Go on somewhere, boy. I'll take it. I'll take it. Get in here. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Woo, boy. I will take it. Decent fish for the day. All right. Pretty fish. Boy, got that cold top water bite going on. Oh, snap. We do not want to do that. Ooh, did y'all see that? <laughs> 12 or 13 inch fish. Weather's trash, overcast, but it's cold. I can't believe they smacking the top water like that, man. Ooh. I have put my Ned rig up. I have not stuck a fish on that Ned rig the whole time I've been out here, which makes no sense. And I've only gotten fish on top water. I just, I don't know. Something about the top water that was triggering and the Ned, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I have no idea what to tell y'all. Figured, you know, with this conditions, probe some of these deeper areas like this with that Ned and pick off a few, but I haven't even had one run with it. Pick it up, I've had a couple packs. So, and I'm just gonna throw the top water. I have no clue what else to do. Oh, I saw him. He probably felt that hook. Again, these fish are looking up. <laughs> That's two. They're looking up. They're not looking down to feed. This is so weird. Oh my God. I saw that smallmouth at least twice. I mean, clear as day, golden, bronze. It's the only one I know today that's been a smallmouth. The camera on, bait was sitting on the surface and he ate it. Top water again, I, I can't, man, I'm telling you. I just threw the Ned rig for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, then I threw a chatterbait for a while and it eats the top water. I was sitting over there in the sun. There's another one and they're just slurping it. And uh, my fingers are itching, y'all. So to tell y'all how cold I was, and I'm probably gonna get cold like that again in a second, but when I sat in the sun for 15 minutes, my fingers started itching. You know how when you play in the snow and you come in the house and that tingly, itchy feeling? Yeah, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm gonna need to wrap this up. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Way of Fishing. This is an outro for this video that you're watching. I didn't shoot an outro yesterday. I was so cold that my fingers were itching when they started to warm up. I really needed to get out of the river. So I'm at a different river now and I've got some guests over here I'm gonna introduce you guys to. So hop on over and watch today's video. You now watched yesterday's video. I will see y'all on the next one.